Hey everybody, welcome back to Slapdash. My name's La, and this is Pokemon Sage. And in the last episode, we were wandering around in the Dronia City junkyard, fighting Team Orin, and we fought a whole bunch of weird stuff. There was the same ones we found in the forest a long time ago, so they had a, a couple of dark types, and a little fighting type monkey guy. And then the next one had a really high level evolution of Quibble. And looking at what's coming up, everyone keeps talking about running back to talk to their leaders. So I think we're going to have to battle one of the leaders here. I don't think it's going to be like the end boss of Team Aram if it's anything like the evil teams from the other games. But someone tells me it's going to be a real hard fight. Uh, we did go back and grab Wine Rat and grabbed all of the items hidden behind the trees. Uh, one of them was an HP up, and actually I should probably use that real quick. I haven't decided who I'm going to use it on, but that's a pretty good item. Let's see, what would it be under... Uh, medicine? I guess so. So, let's look at the party's HP. Mr. Suck has always been kind of a fragile little boy. Um, Atuin's pretty good hit points. Buckshot's pretty good. Sorbet's actually the lowest after Ghost Rider, but Ghost Rider's also a couple levels behind everyone. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it to Mr. Suck, just because... I mean, I realize Gribbles has lower hit points, but Gribbles has a much higher defense and much very specific typing so mr sucks our starter i'm just gonna give him the hp up i like that um and yeah i only got a few encounters i think uh, atuin got to level 25 just trying to get the items behind the cut grass and mr suck got a level um oh so did sorbet uh but sorbet tried to learn roar didn't want to do that so let's talk about this arm leader so i don't have to spend too long talking and not enough time battling wicked Pokemon trainers. I think I'm going to lead with Buckshot, because I don't know what they're going to have. But a lot of times in these, like, uh, evil teams, the admins or the counselors or whatever tend to have evolved versions of what the other ones had. So I'm expecting to fight Dark-type. Um, that is my guess, is that most of the ones I've fought have been Dark-type, and Buckshot has a fighting-type move and also is safe against things I don't know about, because he's normal-type. So that's going to be my read. And I'm guessing this critter with the huge head of orange hair is going to be someone important, or maybe someone that they're kidnapping that I rescue, so we'll find out. And after that, I have no idea where to go. Here comes the cutscene. Boy, if I'd taken one step further, I probably would have triggered this. Why don't we load the rest of the loot in that truck? There was plenty of room. The package is priority number one. Boss's orders. I'm not wasting one second in getting this thing out of here. I don't care who's onto us. Wait for the truck to come back to load the rest of it. In the meantime, I'll handle this. What the heck? Who's this punk? Uh, the problem we told you we had. This? This runt is the problem? Uh, uh you see, it's like... Speak up when I'm talking to you! Uh, yes, I mean, no, I mean, yes, ma'am! Oh, it's a lady. All right, then, listen up, you little brat. I don't care who you are, and I don't care. Wait, wait that didn't make, that make sense? Did I read that wrong? Moving this garbage around is boring me to tears. I'm gonna snap if this keeps up. Crushing a wannabe hero sounds like a great way to get my blood pumping. Oh man, good music. Whoa! Look at this buff lady! Oh wow! Fuck, she is awesome. She looks like she's at a Tekken or something. Look at those biceps! Man, she could like crush a Geodude between her thighs. What a badass. Cobalt?! Hold the phone. What the fuck is that thing? Is that the evolution of Coblin? Is it steel type? What? The thing is awesome looking. It's got metal arms. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting at all. Uh, I'm gonna hit it with a double kick. That should do pretty good if he stays dark type. Ooh, he's fast. Ooh, boy. Oh, wow, this thing's got some defense on it. Uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna do that again. Yeesh! That's a big bite he's got. Awesome. Good job, Buckshot. Oh, this music is killing it. This reminds me of, like, Mega Man. Oh, good job, Buckshot. Nice. Okay, Simeon. That's obviously a monkey. I mean, that's that, that name reads really clearly. And the last monkey we fought was Fighting-type. 
I'm gonna play it safe and go into Mr. Suck. Yep, that is 100% the evolution of that fighting monkey. Uh, okay, well, Mr. Suck's gonna outspeed that, I am very sure of. So I'm gonna hit this thing with an air cutter and hope that its special defense isn't that high. Nice, okay, whatever it has, I hope I can take it. Ooh, Mega Punch. Okay, we can handle that. This we can do. Cool. Shellocene. Okay, I don't know what that is. Let's take another read on this name. Shellocene makes me think that it might be something, you know, that has like an armored shell. So I'm guessing rock, maybe ground type. Um, it could also be like a turtle water type, but I already have a turtle that's psychic in rock. So I don't know if they would double up on their turtles. So we're going to stay in with Mr. Suck, and I'm going to assume this thing will be rock ground. That's my play. Nope, that's not rock ground. I mean, it might be ground type, but that looks like a fire type to me. And in fact, it looks like the thing we fought in the Dronia gym. There was a little uh, fire type lizard thing that had a little shell like that. And this one is much bigger, so I'm guessing this is an evolution of that previously seen one. So that makes it fire type. Um, so, I'm losing a turn here, unfortunately, and I'm going to switch into Atuin. It was unfortunately down a little bit of hit points, but I'm guessing it'll try to use a fire attack because I left Mr. Suck in. Flame Burst. Oof, good thing my special defense is through the roof. Um, okay, so that didn't do very much, and Rock Tomb should be good. Just to be safe, I'm going to Amnesia up. Takedown. Ooh, that's not going to do much. That's a normal type move. Okay, you got some recoil going on. So I'm going to set up on this thing a little bit and then give uh, Atuin a heal. So I'm going to do one Amnesia and one Curse. And then probably try dropping it up with some Rock Slides. Which should do pretty good, because this thing's fire type. Okay, we're going to give Atuin a fresh water and we're going to play it safe. Ooh, I'm really into this fight right now. This is the first team of, like, all, like, evolved, strong-ass Pokémon that's been outside of a gym, and I am way into that. Ooh, a crit! Even with a crit, Atuin ate that right up. You have Curse, too? Fuck you! It's gonna turn into a Curse off. Nice. Hopefully I outspeed now and get to go this one first before it gets another Curse off. And if I have to, I can switch to Confusion. Yep, he's setting up now. Uh, if I stay in offense, I might have the upper hand. Let's see how a Confusion does, because it's raising its physical defense. Nope, so it must resist that, which means it's probably Fire or Steel type. Okay, understood. Uh, one more Rock team. More speed drops are okay. Awesome. We're doing okay. It stopped using recoil damage. It's getting criticals for some reason. But one more rock tomb should seal the deal. Awesome. Awesome. Atuin, you did great. This is what you're here for. Nothing to say? <clears throat> Excuse me. Boss, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> you caught me off guard there, punk! Haven't been beaten in a while, gotta admit, that's refreshing. But it won't happen again. You best pray we never meet again, because if we do, I'll be prepared to crush you into a million pieces. Hey, it's a museum guy. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Oh, the artifacts! I think that's the voice I had for him. I don't remember. Seems too late front bulk of the thieves, but we did manage to take in a few grunts that we tied up not too far outside. Hmm? You don't have anything to do with that. Strange. Regardless, your actions are deeply appreciated. Oh, nearly everything's accounted for. And it's all in pristine condition. I cannot thank you enough for this. Quickly, let us return these exhibits to their rightful place. Post haste. Would you care to join us? Sure. Quick little teleport back to Dronia. It's most unfortunate those goons made away with that beautiful suit of armor. While the police investigation is underway, the exhibit hall of the museum is closed. No matter, Law, I simply cannot thank you enough for everything you did to this museum. 
Without your help, I'm certain Team Aura would have made off with every last artifact. I was going to ask if he was going to reward me. This reward cannot possibly pay the debt I owe to you, but it's all I can give. An item finder, cool. An item finder is exactly what it sounds like. Use it, and it points you in the direction of nearby hidden items. Thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. Cool, let's see how that works. Now we get out of this museum first. Okay, let's hit the Pokemon Center real quick to heal up the squad. And it looks like that path was open behind where they were leading the truck up. And the other path up north is still blocked, so... Oh wait, now that I finished that cutscene, maybe it's open. Well, let's look around. That was a good fight, though. I feel real good about that. A whole lot of people got to get on the floor and mess some bad guys up. Using the team to its maximum potential. No more. Don't need any pot dogs. Nope. Kids are still there. You know, it's cute that they're called pot dogs because Potter's the dog in this world, but also that sounds like the kind of hot dog that would mess you right up that I would absolutely buy and eat one or two of. So let's go back to... Did I heal up? Yes, I did. Boy, I have a short memory span sometimes. Some people, like, walk into the kitchen and forget why they went in there. Me, I, like, go in the Pokemon Center and then forget if I healed up or not. Maybe there'll be a new route and we can catch a new friend. If that's going to be the case, I'm going to check my Pokeballs because I don't want to... Got eight, eight, one, one. I've got a bunch of special little balls. Cool. That is plenty. Um, does anyone have any sleep moves? No, the only one I have is sleep moves is Giga, Giga Ram. Oh, man, and Jules is gone now, so I don't have Paralyze. I don't think I have any status moves. Shit! It's gonna make catching a lot trickier. Man, do I have anything? I guess the best thing I could do is freeze them. <laughs> That's unlikely. Uh, I mean, I know you don't. No. Nope. nope, we got rid of Grass Whistle. For good reason. Uh, confusion might confuse them, but I don't think that's going to help me catch them. I could burn them, but that's way too dangerous, and I don't know if it helps with catching either. Hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. So we're just going to have to be smart with our damage. What? Oh, it's one of these things. I was like, are there wild encounters in the in the junkyard? I already caught one of you, so I can't catch you again. I did learn that you can find random versions of the Dopole that has different colored Pokeballs on its head. Um, I found a couple with Great Ball designs, and I found one with an Ultra Ball design, which I guess is only like a 5% chance or something, which, you know, isn't that bad. But it still made me feel cool. And I forgot to test out the Item Finder, which I'm going to do right now. Use... Okay. Uh, I don't know where it is. Oh, man, I'm clicking on everything. Aw, twin. Oh, that's so cute. You know what? Let's give someone else a chance to follow behind. Who haven't I seen now behind me in a while? Poltergeist. No. Missed it. My pony friend. Oh, what a pretty pony. I don't know how this item finder works, but I can't find shit. Try to make sure I wasn't like hitting the wrong button to try to find items. I can't find it. It said it was right around here. Man. All right. Well, if anyone wants to leave me a comment and tell me how this item finding shit works, please do, because I I like finding hidden items and uh, it doesn't seem to be functioning for me very well. Yeah. Pretty weird. 
I realize I can register it. For now, maybe I actually will. Oh dear. Well, it's a happy horsey. Aw, that was a really cute little text. Alright, let's get out of here. Never mind, I can't. Where the hell do I go? I know there was a train station or something up here. Maybe that's where I go next. Yeah, there's another item here I didn't see. No, nope, just a Pokemon. Yeah, see, there's one of the Great Ball ones. Neat. Thank you for boosting my Buckshot. Ooh, didn't even take two kicks. Strong, strong boy. Well, maybe the curator is gonna give me something too, because I helped rescue his his big old yard full of crap. Wait, you're not the curator. That's not what they call you. Those goons gone, so I can finally get back to work. I get fresh scrap here daily, so if you keep a sharp eye out, you might find something that interests you. Well, I sure tried. We should have just stayed in Dronia. <clears throat> Who's that person standing there? Platypow. Man, I wish I caught you. I think you're fighting poison type from what I found out. Oh, it's, a, it's an encounter. A trainer battle. Last Jessica. Pepin. Level 22. I'm going up in the world. Uh, what are you going to do? You got the silk scarf on. Let's stomp it up and hope for a flinch. Or just to, you'll stomp the tiny bunny to death with one go. Good job, Buckshot. I wasn't paying attention. Glad I wasn't, because I cannot double kick you. Excellent. Good, good high roll on that second kick. Glad for that. Buckshot. I guess I'm going this way then. Was this blocked by the goons before? I didn't even try. Well, bless my soul. Same route, no new encounters, so there's probably some more trainer battles. Wow. Pretty cool little Pokemon, but I'm tired of fighting them when they put me to sleep and then leech seed me to death. Not quite to death, mind you, but close enough that it's annoying. I'm nervous about these upcoming trainer battles. They could be pretty wild ones. I seem to recall that in... I don't know, what was it? Emerald or something? There's like a rainy path with some exceptionally powerful trainers on it. Hmm, who am I going to use? Octuin, you're still a little behind in levels. You've been doing some good work. Let's throw you up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you going to be able to run away? Ugh. Okay, use charge. I don't want to get water gunned by a stupid potter. Just kidding, I'll be potter, you cute. There's something so romantic about the changing weather, don't you agree? It's an umbrella lady. Parasol Lady Claire would like to battle. What the fuck? Solakari? It's a sun parrot. I'm gonna hit you with a rock tomb. Uproar's not gonna do anything. I mean, no one's gonna fall asleep, but... Yep, definitely flying type. Not that it wasn't super obvious from the sprite. I mean, you can keep uproaring. It's okay. I ain't scared of your normal type moves. Well, that's a cool-ass flying type. That was a lot of experience, too. Is the thing evolved or something? Is it rare? Well, either way, first one I've seen. Sure. Yeah, alright. You can call me on my poke gear. More platypals. I'm not going to turn down free experience from one-shotting a Platypow with confusion. T 
times four. Okay, so these lumberjacks use, uh, what are they called? The little tree elephants. And those things have a really horrible nature thing that I learned about, where if they get a crit on or something, then they automatically, like, max out their attack stat or something. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm not a fan. So if I have to fight these guys, I do it very cautiously. And I'll start with uh, Mr. Suck, because he's got air cutter. And if he has something besides, uh, what are they called? Trunk something? All pint. All pint. Water sport. Well, that was, a, that was a great move. Good job, all pint. Just, I'm so terrified of critting on those little adorable, shitty baby elephants. Good job, Mr. Suck. Platypow. Yes, I will. I'll go back into Atuin. Do I have anything else that's good against... I guess uh, Mr. Suck's also good against that, but... Okay, hard to resist that. Times four. Unless this thing has something weird I don't know about. I'm going to start with a curse, though. Poison Tail? I haven't seen him use that yet. Of course you get poison off on your first one. Of course you do. Curse up... Okay, I'm, I'm getting rid of that poison. Post haste. Sleep, paralysis, poison. Oh, I got lots of those. Pick a bag. Oh, sleep. Couch. A crit. Get fucked. What is with this lucky platypow? My lordy. Jerk. Can you stop critting on me, please? Good. Thank you. Yeah, drop my giant turtle speed. That's a real bummer for me. If you get poisoned again, I swear to God. Now we're getting somewhere. Well, guys, this episode's running a little longer than usual. I was hoping I could get to a new route or something, but this one just seems to go on forever. Um, so I'm going to grab this item, which I guess could potentially be another dope hole. God damn it! Of course it was. Of course it was. I'm just going to run. Ain't got time for that. Quick tertiary glance to see if there's anything that looks like the end of the road. Oh! That does. Those palm trees? I didn't even walk that far. Am I in the jungle now? Do we just get to, like, Madagascar or something? First I'll get these berries. Hopefully that's not a continuation of the same route, because I'm ready to get to a, a town or a new catching area. I like to wrap up with something fresh and new. Not just stuck in the middle of a route. There's a little kid up there, so I'll go check that out later. Oh, but looks like we got some more fighting to do before we get anywhere interesting. And I didn't see a route change, so we're still on Route 9. Take a quick peek down here. Route 11! Oh my gosh! We did it! Is this a town? Is that kid gonna fight me? Whoa! Hang on a second! The area up here isn't finished yet. It'll be the next area after 2.0. Head east towards Route 10 continue along with the demo. Oh man! Well, I'm glad that they're straightforward about the fact that this place isn't developed yet, but I sure would like to go to it and heal up and not have to continue this route. But... Them's the breaks. So we're gonna go over to right before this battle, and we're gonna wrap up this episode. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Pokemon Sage Nuzlocke. Thanks for following us on Slapdash. Don't forget to leave a like button if you enjoyed watching the video. And subscribe if you want to see what Slapdash is up to in the near future. we got more Nuzlocke's and more video LPs for video games coming up soon. It's great having you here. Love to hear your comments, interact with you. And until next time, I think you're pretty cool.